Hey guys, it's Renisha for this. I'm gonna be using this really old mirror. It's a really an expensive one that I bought a long time ago, kind of like a basic one. This one has like leftover paint on it. It's because I had a different design, but now I'm trying this one. And for that, I'm gonna be using some foamy paper, folding this in four parts. First, like folding this in half, cutting that, and then each part cutting it in half. So I have like four stripes. Then I'm gonna go with my ruler and my pencil and just making the lines like straight and then just cutting that. So I'm just gonna remove the mirror part of this and ignore the fact that it's painted. Actually, I was going to do a different design with this one, but I ended up not liking it. But first I'm gonna be arranging where I want my foamy stripes to be, helping myself with some tape so they don't move and then just pretty much marking what shape do I need from this cutting those excess, then just marking how much of that I'm going to be using. And then when I have those marks, I'm just going to go with my ruler and then just make those lines straight again with those marks. I only did this for the top part and one of the sides and guiding myself from that for the other sides. And pretty much I'm going to be using my super glue to just glue my like shaped foamy stripes. In this case, I'm using my crazy glue. And because I already have like the exact shape, they're pretty much ready to go. Adding the glue like on the front and on the sides. Then I'm going to be using some foil, aluminum foil, and I'm going to wrinkle it like this. I don't want it to make it into a ball right before that so that it has like a texture or just like mini shapes on it, if that makes sense. If you wrinkle it a lot, the shapes are going to be so tiny that you're not going to be able to see them, if that makes sense. But I'm going to be cutting a bunch of stripes and just gluing them all around like this with my super glue. Pretty much like I did with my other stripes, like the foamy ones, adding glue to the center and then like the side. And for this case, I'm using my super glue. This came in a pack of 12. I do have the review for this one if you want to check it out. And here comes the fun part. Well, everything was fun for me to be honest. First, I'm going to be using this black acrylic paint and I made this myself. Again, if you run out of black or you want to know how I made this one, feel free to check that out. I'm giving this to coats. I'm going to be now using this gold acrylic paint and my sponge picking the paint with my sponge then just sponging the excess off of it and then just pretty much dragging whatever paint is left on the sponge like this then i made this moss or mossy green i am going to be sharing with you how i made this pretty soon so stay tuned for that doing pretty much the same thing picking the paint with my sponge then just punching the excess away on my craft mat i do have the review for this one by the way dragging the paint doing the same thing with my gold and with my green and i went back and forth with those ones as well. Sometimes I went too overboard because I still want to be able to see the black on the background. I like I want this to be like two dimensional. I just went back with my black acrylic paint and then with the other two. But if you don't have a sponge, don't worry. Towards the end, I actually discovered that the way that I liked it better is by using my fingers to just paint the gold and the green. I actually think that it looks way better with the finger because the sponge is like, well, a sponge because your fingers are like flat and soft and they, uh, they drag the paint a lot better. Like for this effect, it's like the best. I actually once heard somebody said that fingers are the best brushes and for some things or just techniques, I think they are right placing my uh, mirror back in. My mirror, by the way, is covered with a piece of parchment paper. That's why you can see any reflection, so it's easier to show you. But yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. I love it. I love it. I think that technique with the black, the green, and the gold work really well and really complement each other for this. I think the thicker the frame, the better it's gonna be because you're gonna be able to see the technique a lot more. And I liked it so much that maybe in the future I will get a, like a thicker frame. But this is just something that I wanted to do for this old mirror that I had. But yeah, I'm glad I went for this because I like it so much better now. If you were looking for ideas to like upgrade a frame or a mirror, hopefully this was helpful and handy. And you liked it as much as I did. And if you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out the other like affordable home decor that I have and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.